In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for MgCl2 plus Na3PO4. This is magnesium chloride. This is sodium phosphate. The first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. For this molecular equation, I think what we'll do, we'll start out by balancing the phosphates. We have one phosphate ion here, and we have two here. So if we put a two in front of the Na3PO4, now we'll have two phosphates that'll balance these. And that'll also give us six sodium atoms. We put a six over here, sodium atoms are balanced, but six chlorine atoms. So we need a three. So now we have three times two, six chlorines, three magnesium, three magnesium. The molecular equation is balanced. Now we can write the states for each substance. If you know your solubility rules, chlorides very soluble. So we put an AQ for aqueous dissolves in water. Phosphates in general are insoluble, but when they're bonded to group one elements like sodium, they're soluble. So this is going to be aqueous. Here we have magnesium bonded to a phosphate. Magnesium's in group two on the periodic table. This is going to be insoluble. When these two substances react, this magnesium phosphate, it'll be insoluble. That means it's going to be a solid. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So Mg3PO42, that's our precipitate in our net ionic equation here. Chlorides and sodium compounds are very soluble. Let's put an AQ there. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. So magnesium group two, that's two plus, and the chloride ions one minus, each one of them. So we have three of these magnesium ions, and I won't write the states right now, let's write that at the end. Plus, I have two chloride ions. Sodium, that's in group one, that'll be one plus, and the whole phosphate is three minus. Two times three is six, so I have six of these sodium ions here, and then I have two of the phosphate ions. Those are the reactants in our net ionic equations. For the products with net ionic equations, we don't split apart solids. So this Mg3PO42, that's a precipitate, it's a solid, we're not gonna split that apart. And then sodium, we said that was plus, and the chloride ion is negative. Six sodium ions, Na plus, just like in the reactants, plus six chloride ions. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. When I look at the reactants and the products, I see two chloride ions here and six here, and that makes me kind of suspicious. So I can see right away three times two that doesn't give me two, that gives me six. So I need to fix that. So that makes more sense. So we have six chloride ions in the reactants and in the products. Those are spectator ions, cross them out. If those numbers are different like that, you do want to check. We also have six sodium ions and six sodium ions in the products. Spectator ions, cross them out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for MgCl2 plus Na3PO4. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for magnesium chloride plus sodium phosphate. You note that the atoms are balanced, and if I hadn't fixed that error earlier, I wouldn't have the atoms balanced. So that would be a problem I could see. And the charge is balanced. Three times two plus here, that's six plus, and then two times the three minus, that's six minus. That all gives me a net charge of zero. This is neutral net charge of zero. So again, if I hadn't fixed that problem, the charge wouldn't balance either. So those are two things you can check to make sure you have the correct balanced net ionic equation. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.